we have legendary composer Yoko Shimomura. Uh, well, firstly, uh, she confirmed that she's working on the OST for Kingdom Hearts 4. Yeah, Secondly, the worst kept she secret just ever. received Duh. a <laughs> Lifetime Achievement Award last night for all of her yeah, I watched tremendous it. I watched it, yeah. work. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, I watched it. She was so... It was, it was hella cute. She was hella happy. She got hella nervous. She didn't know what to say. That shit was mm -hmm. so... Ah, I love this woman. You don't understand. Yeah. So, so for those people who are kind of uncultured, you, you want to educate who this woman is for those people who know her but may not know her. <laughs> First of all, if you don't know who this woman is, you're an idiot. No, okay, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not an idiot. But the funny part is, and you might be probably everyone probably does know who she is, just doesn't know the actual no, person. That, that's behind her. her. Like you definitely, so if you don't know her, you definitely you know, know a piece work. of music that she has you composed. You definitely heard it. Now, I'm going to be more recent because if I bring up Street Fighter 2, that's hella old. And, but it's hella iconic. Everybody knows. It's super iconic. Everybody <laughs> knows the Street Fighter 2 jingles and the themes, right? But for a, a more modern game, everybody has heard Daily Beloved before. Whether you know what that song is or not, you've heard the song before. In passing, in like a random video somewhere, you've heard it. And that shit changed my life. She's the reason why Kingdom Hearts is my Kingdom Hearts 2 is my favorite game of all time. I don't give a fuck how bad or good it is. I don't care what anybody says about it. It's the best game of all time. Xenoblade Chronicles 1, one of my favorite games of all time. Her one of her best works, in my opinion. Um there is nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give her flowers real quick. I'm not the biggest advocate for FF15, but That's... I'm gonna tell you this: she carried that game. That OST that music, is that music amazing. carried that shit. Mm -hmm. Like she, I don't. I, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll take it all the way back. What was the first Mario RPG? I'm pretty sure was the first game, right? That she did the music for. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I don't. She know. was accredited in that, yeah, for sure. She was part of it. Well, my thing is, she just worked her way up and up and up and up and up in a in a, in a at a time where I'm pretty sure it was kind of rough, right, for women in Japan to you know. Get to, yeah. where, get to uh, where they are. In, yeah, like, for sure. In, in, in a lot of documentaries, it's just her. It's just her surrounded by all, you know, yeah. not, not we're making like a male versus female thing, but in in in, in, in a new field, yeah, you know what which mean, was though. video games at the time, like that was super rare for her to just compete against all these other musicians. And so for her to do that and rise above and like, I mean, look. You know what the she, funny part is? If you, you mm -hmm. can just literally Google her name and yep. just go through her discography mm -hmm. and, and just, and right just scroll all the way the fuck down and see how much shit she's done well okay she's probably done uh, shit that she let's, let's even read know. off oh some achievements God. i'm 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 running it down i'm running it down okay so night uh night uh well we'll start with 1989 final fight <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah code name viper gargoyles yeah. quest adventures in magic kingdom uh, Japanese game, Nemo, Street Fighter 2, obviously. Mm -hmm, of course, yeah. Uh, The King of Dragons, Block Block, uh, Varth, Operation Thunderstorm, Breath of Fire, mm -hmm, of course. the Punisher arcade game, mm -hmm. uh, Live Alive, Front Mission, Super Mario RPG. Listen, Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga. If there's one thing, yep. I don't know how, I don't know if y'all played those games. I love yeah, those I games. I love those games. And the music in those games, I'm like, damn, this mm -hmm. shit don't even fit these games, but she went off. Like, yeah. I don't know, yeah. bro. Like, um, uh, Parasite Eat, Legend of Mana, oh my Kingdom God, Hearts. Parasite. Yeah, uh, obviously Superstar Saga, the sequels, Kingdom Hearts, the, the sequels, the Mana series. She always does that. Monster Kingdom, Luminous Arc Two, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, Kingdom Hearts, Radiant Historia. Uh, oh my God, man. Uh. <laughs> But uh, a basically, of all, all of those, man. A lot they of she other Luigi, things, Final too. Fantasy 15. They said she can compose over 150 tracks for Kingdom Hearts alone. Oh, my gosh. She did Streets of Rage 4, too. Damn, I didn't know about that. Yeah, she did a, a few songs. Mostly, she like did a few like arrangements of things she did Shiva. for other games. She did Shiva. Fucking uh, Mar uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate, she contributed a whole bunch of uh, arrangements well, of for course, classic songs in uh, there. Street Fighter, a lot of those with like Street Fighter works are in yeah. the game. Yeah. Street well, yeah. Fighter, Kingdom Hearts, Xenoblade, like King everything. Xenoblade. Yeah, of yeah. course, of course. Yeah. Worked on the That's latest crazy, iter man. iteration of Mario RPG. So, yeah, yeah her, her her work, her hands are in a lot of works. The crazy yeah. thing is, right? 
It's just, oh man, like I'm looking at like a oh top my five God. list of her best work. She did Fantasy it's... Star Online. <laughs> she yeah, did yeah, yeah. Super Mario amazing. RPG, Front Mission, Legend of Mana, Parasite Eve, Final Fantasy 15, and Kingdom Hearts are top two. And don't get me wrong, I love all her works, but those two games are like peak, right? Like you could just tell, you could just seeing somebody evolve over the years is one of the like coolest things to watch, especially because. I have a special attachment because I grew up playing the cello, right? I'm, I'm very heavily into stringed instruments, mm -hmm. and that's what she does best. That is literally like that. If you hear when you hear the strings, you're like, OK, this is probably Yoko. This is probably her. It's probably her work. But Kingdom Hearts boots up like you can like there was one Kingdom Hearts game. I think that she didn't do the majority of the work on and you instantly could tell the difference. and You instantly missed her shit. You were like, fuck, this don't just don't feel right, bro. Like, where's the shit <laughs> like? Oh my God, dude. She has like- Would you say I that the moment you hear some strings playing, you're like, this gal's playing strings. Pop, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like she heavily influenced my entire childhood. I played, I literally was super passionate about the cello because of her music. Like I learned how to play a lot of the Kingdom Hearts music. Like a lot of the shit that she's done, I've learned how to play. Like it's heavily inspired by her shit. It's actually ridiculous. Mm. How much her because when i was a kid like i told you the story yesterday obviously off the stream whatever but i would literally read i would like read game manuals while i'm taking a crap right i would read the game <laughs> manuals on the on, on the toilet seat and be like damn i wonder who did this i wonder who, who voiced I'm this character i wonder yeah i'd be <laughs> i'd be like i wonder who voiced this character i wonder who who composed this shit at a young age i was like fucking 12 11 i think i was like damn i wonder who did this and then i saw her name and whenever i would see her name again i'd be like oh my god i love her Cause you know, when you get attached to certain things, like you get attached to certain directors, certain like developers, certain composers, and then, and then when you keep hearing their work, you get attached to it. So then every time you hear, you you see that they're working on it, you're like, oh, she's working on it. It's got, it's got it has to be good. You know what I'm saying? And there's a trust, so, there's a trust yeah. there, right? Exactly. Like, she has yeah. not let me down ever. Like, yeah. you put a, you I put remember a name to, to to the feeling that you get from those songs, and you know yep. you can trust that person in giving you that exact same feeling almost each and every yep. time. I or at least she them. tried her hardest to make whatever moment, you know. Well, right, yeah, almost. She's the best. She's the best. Like, n no one, there's no one coming close. Like, there's no video game composer. Obviously, uh, Oimatsu is up there. But for me personally, there's, she, no, ain't, ain't nobody beating her, man. Like, probably because I'm, I'm, I'm biased because, like I said, I love strings. And she's like the queen of fucking strings, bro. Strings. That's it. Strings! <laughs> like... Piano and strings. Mm. That's well, piano is strings. So yeah, hello. Well, like, strings, uh, piano's percussion, but that's pi not piano is fucking strings. I don't give a fuck. It's percussion, mother lover. Piano is strings. I play that shit. I will I, always consider I, piano I strings. I don't care. Oh, you play? It's All a, right, yeah, put it up right now. Let me see. Piano and violin. Ain't no semantics. Get the fuck out of here. Semantics. Yeah, exactly. I will always consider Just piano strings. Piano is percussion on strings. All right. Yeah, exactly. Come Pretty on. much. Yeah. Come on, guys. Uh, ask the original. Ask the professionals that know about this shit. But anyway, moving on. Excuse me. I know what I said. I played both. I played that. I played that too. Now you said played. All right. Yes. I said played. played as in I have experience. Yeah, you experienced this. No, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have a talk later. That we will. But, but yeah, um, she's the yeah. best. And I, I. What I want to do, I feel like a lot of, a lot of y'all, I I'm not going to say uncultured. I'm not going to say uncultured because that sounds like that's a negative connotation, right? But I'm going to say a lot of y'all don't know because a lot of people give Kingdom Hearts shit. I mean, I don't even care about the game right now. I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about the quality of the game. If you haven't heard the music, you're crazy. Like, if you haven't heard the Kingdom Hearts music, you're crazy. If you haven't heard the FF15 music, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't even care if you ever play those games in your life. There are, like, people, there are musical artists that I follow that I've been following for a while that sample a lot of her shit. And people don't even know it. And so the artist will come out and say it. Like, which is crazy to me. A lot of my favorite fucking hip, like, J. Cole sampled a lot of her shit, which is wild, right? Like, y'all, people don't think about shit like this. Um, there was somebody else. Um... I forgot what the I'm dude's sure name I heard, was. I heard, I heard it in a couple of songs. Yeah. She, "Darkness of the Unknown" is one of the most, one of her most iconic shits, and that's been sampled a lot in a lot of music. People just don't know because they don't know the song. 
though i highly recommend y'all at least listen to her her music please it's a lot of shit you will not be disappointed like i almost want to have like a listening party just for her shit because man i'll go down a rabbit hole all night man all right anyway i, I gotta stop talking about it because now i'm gonna want to play kingdom hearts and i want to play dragon's dogma too so i can't do that just goes to show the power of music in yeah. video games and yes. and what it does for those games for those moments for those point point for in the people your that life. can appreciate it yeah like it felt so i felt validated you know what i'm saying like and, and y'all know me i don't really give a fuck about validation most of the time but i felt super validated when she came up on the stage and she was like fucking she was hella nervous and she accepted the award i was like yes Oh, yeah. well she deserved, absolutely bro. deserves it yeah. like oh my god dude they have a, they hold a concert kingdom hearts for like kingdom hearts shit almost every year final fantasy shit obviously but it's gonna be wild when kingdom hearts 4 drops because everyone's gonna be waiting for the music people don't a lot of people not even gonna give a fuck about the game at first he's gonna wait for the music like what <laughs> that's gonna be crazy man yeah when this but is yeah, over, Frank, up. I need you to put up the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer. Just, just don't even, don't even look at the the trailer. Just listen to the music. Like, <laughs> just hear it. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead ass. I'm not even, I'm not even joking. Like, uh, no, no, she's, no, her shit's crazy. Um, can, but um, that, yeah, she, she, uh, you know, what was that? Oh, uh, it wasn't her, but I think it's a good point to tie end this on. Um, you were saying that someone was saying like, uh, that. Mm -hmm. V v like people are kind of turning away from video game music and video games and that no uh, uh Nobuo Oimatsu said it um yeah 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 but I feel like this is like <laughs> fitting yeah uh, this is like this is this is like a um this is like a sh it's like a slap in the face to everybody that's like yeah I love these fucking orchestral fucking long arranged fucking uh OSTs and and, and soundtracks and, and scores in in games and I'm like they're great they're epic. They're nice to listen to in the moment, right? But they're not memorable to me. Like, I don't remember a single song from God of War outside of the outside of the original God of War theme, right? Which mm. is very melodic. It has a very catchy melody to it. That's why we all recognize it. That's why when they do play that theme scarcely in the new God of War games, you instantly hear it. And you're like, oh, shit. Right? Like... So we kind of games kind of went away from having that kind of music to having these more orchestral movie like soundtracks. And um when it works, it's it's okay, but I'm not the biggest fan of that. That's not what really gets me in the video game music. And Japanese composers really get it, I feel like, when it comes to video game music. Obviously, anime mm -hmm. music, duh, but I feel like they understand how to catch like emotion from for specific scenes in every piece of work that they do. An epic fucking soundtrack is cool, but it doesn't make me feel anything. It feels kind of soulless to me. It's like you just do it just to make it. The whole purpose is to just make it sound epic, right? That's the only purpose. Not to invoke any type of emotion or anything out of people. It's just make it sound as epic as possible. That's it. Like, and right. that's not whereas, why I like music. Mm -hmm. And whereas before, like if you hear a theme from, from a certain video game, you know exactly what that moment is. You know why it's mm -hmm. played, like you know the significance. You go back and you play because it takes you back. To Do you that know what the, the most game. iconic moment to me of all time is? And this is obviously going to age, but it's going to age all of us. I don't care. But the most iconic song to me is when you walk into the Temple of Time in Ocarina of Time and you hear that shit and then you go pick up the fucking mask, you take the Master Sword out of the fucking uh, thing and then, it, and then the music starts playing. And you oh, turn into an adult, music. you're like, oh shit. Like, I'll never forget that. Every time I hear that song, that scene instantly pops into my head. Like, I don't know what kind of memory that's called. That that's that there's there's a specific term for it, but that's what music does for Probably me. Music takes me senses, something I I'm not sure, but um that's what music does for me. I don't know how everyone else feels about it, but if if I hear a song that i heard when i was in like high school i'll instantly remember the time and place where i would listen to that song most of the time right i would it whistling to certain songs take me back to the specific moment where i was listening to it like mm -hmm. that's just what they do for me which is why you know i that's kind of why i appreciate game music more than i guess the majority of people because it just reminds me of specific moments 
there aren't many video game soundtracks that remind me of bad moments in my life. It's usually good shit. You know what I mean? Obviously, right. I have those songs that are remind me of like, oh shit, I was going through a breakup or some shit like that at the moment. Obviously, <laughs> everybody has those, right? But yeah, right. You, most of the time, song. I'm thinking about shit, and it's it's a lot of positive memories that a lot of the music gets for me, especially Kingdom Hearts, obviously. But I don't know, right. man. Uh, music is a huge part of my life. It always has been. It's always going to be. So whenever whenever composers get respect like that, I always love that. So shout out to her, man. Yeah, congratulations. I had, a, I had a weird crush on her when I was a kid. I don't give a fuck, bro. I mean, like, she was cute. She old now. No, I'm going to say she old. She's not old, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, she old. She but older. she get up there and it's like, oh, man. Whatever. Yeah. I love her. I mean, she still look One healthy. One day I'll meet her. You know what I mean? That's good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Hopefully I get to meet her one day. I just, I just want her... There are some people who I just want to sit in a room with and just understand observe, the creative process. Just observe and just yeah. yeah. Just be, I, I want to understand like, be, like be, her creative be in process. The aura and be in the, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you gotta you gotta kind of think about the mindset, right? And the atmosphere you have to put yourself into to compose music, especially like the amount of music she's done, right? Because she's so consistent. Has she done anything bad? I have. I don't. She hasn't done anything bad. I know a lot of composers that have had had a lot of misses. I don't remember. I don't. I can't think of. And I've heard like a lot of her shit. The majority of her shit. I have an entire YouTube playlist of all her shit, and it's like she don't miss, bro. So the, like, I need. To, I want. I need to understand how the how she works. I'll meet her one day. It's, I, hopefully, but like, just like I need to meet Yoshi P one day. Maybe I'll go to the next fan fest. I don't know. Yeah. But I just want to understand. All right. Anyway, going <laughs> off on the fucking. Anyway, I, I, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a, I'm a I'm gonna cut him off because he'll yeah, hold I told you we gonna have to. I told you good luck trying to cut me yeah. off talking about her, bro. Oh, good. It's 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 important for anybody listening now to understand that you know if there's any kind of piece of music that you have any kind of remote interest in or something that pulls up, don't be afraid to listen to it to expand your horizons and listen to it because that's how you get into this. When you listen to video games, look up a song that you heard and you're like, oh man, that was that was a pretty cool song. Look into it. You learn. You'll develop. You'll look into the, the same artist the composer you look into mm -hmm. their discography and you'll start to see some of the things that they do. oh they did that oh they did that i really like that i used to love that and it just yeah, takes you down a rabbit hole and it opens up this whole new horizon for you i'm always down for a good listen just yeah. like i hope you guys are down for a good listen for this podcast hit that like hit that subscribe make sure you check us out keep listening every week keep commenting Check us out on TikTok, iTunes, Spotify, all of the above, and make sure you hang out with us because you just you just never know what you're gonna hear here uh, and what, what we're gonna talk about. But make sure you hang out, and we'll check you guys out next week. All I'm gonna say is, bro, 